We need air support! 30 miles south of Basra. Tell them to fire at the bloody smoke! Stand our position, Alpha. We're taking casualties! They've got the high ground now! Keep fire! We're pinned down, sir! Oh, God, we're getting killed here! You call for support, Staff Sergeant. Who the bloody hell are you? Where are they? Second house along. Bloody car bomb took out my lead truck and they zoned us with small arms fire. I've got injured men up there, I can't move! You might want to cover your ears. Okay, Dorby, deploy the bullet. What the hell did you just do? Save the RAF a job, Staff Sergeant. Voice of God by Simon Bovey. Part One. I don't do field work. There's no one else. Everyone's already out there. Then someone needs to stay here and study the data. Ah, the computers can do that. Sam, we've got three earthquakes a day coming in. That's a 600% increase. In the last month alone, we've had three of magnitude five or over. We don't even know where the bloody epicenters are. And the last time that happened was, was never. I need people in the field. Where exactly? The Nullarbor Plain. You've got to be joking. It's where I need you. Everyone's got a short straw. Mackie's in the Simpson, Talbot's east of Flinders. Talbot's in a hotel? What's in the Nullarbor? There's a lot more than just your comfort at stake here, Sam. Oh. We've picked up harmonic tremors. That's impossible. Yeah, welcome to my world. Who was slap in the middle of the plate? You won't get magma moving this far from a fracture zone. Maybe near a hot spot like the Bass Strait, but not inland. So, have I got your interest now? Yeah, it could be adjustment activity or even just quiescence or maybe... Four shocks and we haven't seen the main event yet. Which is why I need you in the field. We need all the data we can get on this. And hey, you never know, it could make your name. Maybe a paper in a day. <laughs> and I'm telling you, Sam, you've got to engage. I see you're reading all those lousy self-help books, but what you really need is to start caring about something. Oh, great pep talk. I feel so much better now. Look, I'll go, but I don't know a damn thing about the bush. How do I even get out there? Don't worry. I've teamed you up with someone who knows all about it. Who? A guy from Perth University. Highly qualified. You'll like him. He'll meet you at Norseman. And Sam, do some real work out there, eh? I'm a seismologist. We try and predict the shifting of the Earth's plates. What fault lines are likely to become active? I'm good with rocks. I'm just not so good at predicting people. In my profession, we have a saying. Rocks don't lie. It needs biology for that. At that time, all I knew was I was in the arse end of Australia, waiting for God knows who to take me God knows where. Oh, are these your dogs? Oh, no. I already ate mine. Go on, get! You want me to help you with your bag someplace? I can manage. You want a beer? Reckon it's about 40 degrees today. Look, do you want money or something? Just trying to be neighbourly. If you want to help, you can tell me where, well, where the real town is. You mean where the white people are? The hotels, the bars. The air conditioning. You need to go west off the airstrip. Norseman proper is the other side of the highway. How far? A couple of k's. You stay in there. I'm meeting someone. Well, it's a small town. Maybe I know him. I doubt it. Why's that? He's a... You just wouldn't. Well, is he tall and handsome like me? Goodbye. Does he own a big Toyota like me? Will you leave me alone? Is he a half-caste fella from Perth University, perhaps? You're kidding me. Joshua Padameri. Sam Rideout, I presume. I think I lost five pounds standing in that sun. Ah, there's cold water in the bottle. Did McCartney brief you? Yeah, right. I just got co-opted into Geoscience Australia and was told to meet you here with a ute, equipment and enough water and tucker for a trip into the paddock. 
What? That's what we call the Nullarbor out here. The paddock? Yeah. Let me get this straight. It's a waterless, wind-scoured void with bugger all in the way of civilised comfort. Mm. To the west, there's nothing but empty Indian Ocean until you hit the South African coast. Mm. Antarctica to the south. To the north, 3,000 hideous caves of burning sand and spin effects all the way to Darwin. Yeah. And east, where we're going, it's... Well, it's a bit worse until you hit Sydney, and that's, hey, another 3,000 caves. And you call it the paddock? Well, when you put it like that, maybe you wouldn't want to buy property and retire. Yeah, on that we're agreed. So you want to tell me what we're looking for? Right now, you know as much as I do. A seismic swarm across the whole of Australia, but especially the north and east coast. Then day before yesterday, seismograph 57 picked up a harmonic tremor out there. But there isn't any magma this far onto the Austral plate? Right. So it could be an anomaly at the graph. Ah, and those expendable galahs have been sent to check it. Something like that. Yeah, peachy. So how long before we reach it? Uh, about a day, I reckon. What? I want to be back in Melbourne tomorrow. Never happen. We don't turn off the air highway for another five hours or so, what? and then it's another 300 k's off-road. How did I get taught into this? Ah, could be worse. Could be raining. Are you going to be this remorseless and cheery throughout the whole trip? Yeah, probably. Actually, rain would be good. All the bush round here blooms into life. The flowers and grasses that were dormant spring up in a matter of hours. It's, it's really beautiful. It's worth seeing. Send me a photograph. Are you going to be this grumpy throughout the whole trip? I don't know. I have to work at it. Don't take this the wrong way, but... I... But you weren't expecting an abo? I wasn't going to put it that way. No, that's what you were thinking. No, I was just thinking... We're not all drunks and painters, you know. I know that. I was just thinking... Oh, you a bloody bird! Is it dead? I'd better check. Joshua! What oh, the hell? just happened? There must be dozens of them. Like something from Hitchcock. Does this happen often? I hope not. It's like they were in a blind flight. From what? You're asking the wrong fella. You're the bush expert. Not today. And if... Oh, you feel that? Earthquake. Just a tremor. Would that have scared the birds? Gets my vote. Meaning what exactly? Meaning if it wasn't, then I'll have to start thinking about what else it might be. Oh. Well, we'd better get moving before we get a road train up the arse. Frankly, that seems a lot less scary than going out there. Yeah. Seismograph seems to be working fine. So the harmonic tremor is happening? How? It doesn't make any geological sense. Could be a fissure. Well, the nullarbor is basically one big lump of limestone, so fracturing isn't out of the question, not but... not this far from the fault line. Well, that last tremor was 2.2. Hold on to your hats. I've got an epicentre. 400 k's due east. Hypercentre? No, nah, it's just surface readings. And according to this, it only produced compression waves. Is, is that possible? How long will it take to get there? It's all cross-country. Another day at least, I reckon. Download all the data. I'll uplink it to McCartney later. So what are we doing? Going east tomorrow, I guess. So is there a hotel around here? Eh? Ah, oh, that's a joke, right? Well, I've uh, sealed the seismograph back up. There's only one tent. Uh, well, yeah, I thought you'd bring your own. I don't own a bloody tent. If you've got any ideas about getting lucky out here, then you can just take them. Hey, hey, no, 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 look, I'll sleep in the cruiser, no oh, worries. Oh, no, you're not. If you think I'm going to sleep out in this bug paradise, you've got another thing coming. Well, actually, it's not the bugs you need to worry about. No? Nah, it's the snakes that scare the crappers out of me. Oh, great. Look, I've got loads of forex, snags and bacon. What do you say we get the barbie going? Sounds revolting. Is that a yes? Of course it is. I can eat a scabby dog. Right. Anything we're looking for? Volcanic or tectonic? I'll be honest, it's got me beat. I think we're rewriting the book on this one. Major plate realignment? I'm not going to guess until all the data's in. It could just be a non-recurring phenomenon. Which is a euphemism for we don't know what the hell is going on, but we're stocking up on canned goods. It's got to have a simple explanation, Joshua. 
We just can't see it yet. Yeah? You write down the exact time and date you said that. We mess with this planet too much. Whenever something weird happens like this, I can't help thinking she's biting back. Global warming isn't going to cause quakes. Nah, but governments did weird stuff where we're going. A lot of nuclear tests. Makes you think, that's all. I'm too tired to think. Beer? I'm just going to, you know... Oh, right. Here, dunnies, wherever you dig. And make a noise. Scare off the King Browns. Snakes, right? The snake. You're bit, you're dead. I can see I'm going to be very constipated on this trip. Nah, it's the bunyip you want to worry about. Another snake? Much worse. It's a man-eating monster who stuns you with a bellow, then drags you down into his swamp. I'm not listening to you anymore. It's true, I swear. Anything new off the satellite? Nothing happened overnight. But I think I knew that already. Oh, didn't you sleep? I kept a snake vigil. <laughs> Can we turn the aircon up? Nah, it uses too much fuel. We've got to be careful. You know, I didn't realise it was like this out here. What, all the sand? No, no. I mean, I know the geology, but the scale, the size of the sky, it's incredible. From my apartment, all I can see is next to was washing. Yeah, it's something all right. It makes you feel so... so insignificant. Well, you're good company. Come on, you must feel it too. Yeah. Well, what you're looking at is the real Australia. What they don't put in the brochures. It's as ancient as time, never changing, always changing. You know there are more UFO sightings here than anywhere else in Oz, and no one bloody lives here. Makes you think. And then there's the Dreamtime stuff. This place is sacred central. Like what? Nah, I don't remember. So how come you've never been out here before? I'm a pom. You see sunshine, blue sea and cheap shard, and I don't think we're in heaven. Why move? Tourists forever. Which is bad, why? Roots. So this is your... ancestral land? Nah, Chalucha. My dad's been Tupi. It's further north. Get back much? Yeah, yeah. Well, I left for a good reason. I'm 34. By the time your average Aboriginal man reached 40 up there, he qualified as an elder. It was live on welfare or break your back as a stockman on some isolated station. I tell you, when settlers came here, they didn't just take our lands. You sound like a land rights lawyer. And you sound like the other 80% of the country that clings to the east coast and looks out to sea. You want to try looking inside every now and then. You live here, but you don't live here. Hey, at least I go back home to the UK when I can. You're as much a tourist as I am. I have to be. The only way my people will survive is if we take the world on in its own game. That, and the fact that I do possess weapons-grade talent that was wasted in Alice Springs. Modest, too. Hey, you see that? Yeah, it's wreckage, maybe. Slow down. Now, what for? Let's take a look. Ah, I don't know, Sam. A lot of stuff comes down here. Skylab bit back there a ways in 79. Military always messing about with something. Maybe we just leave it, huh? Come on. Five minutes. Stretch your legs. Where's your curiosity? I'll give it to the cat. Hey, what is it? Light aircraft, I think. Ah, oh, let's go. Nothing we can do. I'm just going to check. Sam, uh, be careful. You okay? There's bodies in here. Ah, oh, leave it, Sam. It's full of blowies. Yeah. Oh. 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 You all right? I think I'm going to throw up. No, just, just, just breathe. Oh. Breathe. Who was in there? Two people. Oh, damn these flies. You, you better? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm ever going to get that smell out of my nose. They look pretty far gone. I just grabbed that. Oh. I got a passport. Lee Treadway. Poor sod. Treadway? That name rings a bell. I don't recognise it. Well, they hadn't been there long. We'd best tell someone as soon as we can. Oh, aye. Somebody already knows. How? You see those twigs and ochre? Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no, I wouldn't touch that. Aboriginal business. What does it mean? Cleansing a sacred site, I reckon. What, this spot? The whole of Oz is a sacred site. Oh. Joshua, can we get out of here? 
This place is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. We've got another three, four hours to go, I reckon. You, you ready for it? Yeah. Just next time I get curious, remind me to mind my own business. A bare few seconds before the wives bounce back. At least it looks flat around here. No obvious uplifting. And no gas fins either, which is the main thing. Are you sure this is the right place? Uh, GPS coordinates are the same as the size of the last night. Hey, Joshua. Come here. Hey, what you got? A sign. Keep out. Prohibited area. Oh, no. Maralinga Fields. What's that? A blighted place. Bad dreamings. And in English? I told you yesterday it was a nuclear testing range in the 50s. Look around you. Vitreous sand. You mean we're standing in a bomb test site? Ground zero. How come I don't know about this place? Oh, strangely enough, they don't actually publicise it that much. And I thought the desert was spooky. We're going back. The hell we are. We shouldn't be here. No, I didn't come through miles of crappy desert to turn back when we're so close to finding some answers. Sam, people don't put signs up out here unless they're pretty serious about keeping people out. Who's going to know? I heard stories about this place. Like what? Just stories, OK? Aboriginal legends. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Of course we'll go. An ancient legend is bound to be relevant to studying a seismic swarm today. Will you not be sarcastic at a time like this? It confuses me. Date is in. What have we got? Nothing. Big fat slab of limestone. No fault lines, no vents, nothing. Ah, let me see. I'm interested now. I know that can't be. And it's got to be something. Are you sure this is the right place? Well, within a K or two, yeah. And, and even if we were 10K short, there'd be some evidence down there. Some sign of shearing. Or... coming. What? A bloody hell. What do you think we should do? Well, no, run. No, we can't. Well, I mean, let's just go, just leave the equipment. No, no, Joshua, we can't. Uh, my head is like no. it's going to explode. Wait a minute. Hey, stop. There's some water beside you. Don't stand up or you'll be sick. Where am I? Tell me who you are first. Sam. Sam Rido. What were you doing out there? I feel sick. Just lie still. Answer the question, please. Go away. <laughs> What were you doing out there? Did you just do that to me? I'm a, I'm a seismologist. We're studying the earthquake. She must have felt them. You passed warning signs telling you this was a prohibited area. No, we didn't. We, we found one that was lying down. What were you looking for? I just told you. Don't you watch the news? Where am I? Who do you work for? Geoscience Australia. Who are you? You're English. So are you. What have you found out about these quakes? You, you wouldn't understand if I told you. Try me. There's no fault line. And who have you told about this? No one. Look, where am I? Where's Joshua? Hello? Hello! So far, they're both telling the same story. It was only a matter of time before someone came looking. I was hoping it would take them longer. Superficially, their identities check out, but it's a hell of a coincidence them turning up when they did. Well, they're scientists and good at their job. Mm, maybe, Colonel. But I found this passport in their Land Cruiser. Treadway? Do they know what happened to him? I haven't asked them where they got it yet. I wanted to keep something in reserve. Then let's ask them now. Sir, my recommendation is we get them off base as soon as. Use the ground contamination cover story to hospitalise them for a few days until we can check them out in more detail. Hmm. I want to meet them. I don't think that's a good idea. You don't? Well, I think we'll risk it. They know too much already. Nick, if we ship them off, they won't stop looking. And there'll be others. Let's find out what they know before we do anything. Miss Rideout. Oh. 
Miss Rideout. Where's Joshua? He's safe. I want to see him. You will soon. <laughs> Lee Treadway. Who? You heard him. I've never heard of him. You sure? Of course I'm sure I'd know. Wait a minute. Yes, that was the name of the man in the plane crash we passed. About 50 kilometres west of here. There was a pilot too, but they were pretty far gone. I just grabbed a bag with a passport in and got away from it. Which you must have found in our car, right? He was dead. Very. Hello? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Him? Oh, it's hard to tell from the face. Maggots and dingoes have taken their toll. We'll do his DNA, but I'd say so. He had his transfer orders in his pocket, credit cards, usual stuff. You two, body detail. Great. This is going to set us back even further. The programme carries on as planned. We're not even halfway through the tests. Without detailed analysis of the seismograms, we're just guessing at how to balance the harmonic profile. We carry on. Carl, I don't think we can control then it. Then start to think. Look, I know this is stressful for us all, but we continue with the test. <sighs> the old man's on a short fuse these days. He's got a lot invested in this. Haven't we all? You heard we found a couple of geologists out on the range this morning. Mm, the grapevine's been humming. I think he's going to bring them in. We need them. <laughs> we don't know anything about them. We're not in a position to be choosy. Bloody careless of Trebway to get himself killed. Hey, give me the details. I'll take a look, see if I can come up with anything. <clears throat> I hope you're going to shower later. I guess I do smell a bit uh, out back. Oh, <laughs> hey, don't you dare. <laughs> Mr. Patamari, get to your feet, please. Hey, hey what? Follow me. Yeah, military? What time is it? Late. This way. W where are we? Underground. Five metres. Hey, I, I recognise your voice. You're, you're the man on the speaker. Walk or we'll drag you. All the same to us. Where are we going? In here. Joshua! I wonder what the hell had happened to you. So did I. Are you okay? The head up on me bastards didn't torture any state secrets out of me, if that's what you mean. You? Scared to death. You've really no need, Miss Ryder. Who are you? My name's Walker, Colonel Walker. I run this facility. Sit, please. Where are we? I appreciate this must be alarming to you both, and I apologise for your treatment. But I must ask you some more questions before I can answer yours. This isn't going to be like last time, is it? No. Oh, good. I, I don't think my stomach can handle it. What do you want to ask us? I told your goon all I know. No, we didn't know we was on prohibited land, OK? Just let us go. We can't let you go. What does that mean? It's all right, Captain. Look, we're civilians. You can't keep us here. Plus, you, you're not even Australian, so you've kidnapped a foreign national. We're walking out of here. How? You're in a maximum security facility. Even supposing you could get out of it, it's currently 44 degrees in the shade out there. We're over a hundred miles to the nearest station, across a desert that even camels avoid. How's your bushcraft, Patamary? Think you'd make it? What is all this cloak and dagger? We came here because of the earthquakes, that's it. Yes, and what exactly have you learnt about the recent series of tremors? It is important. Oh. Well, I don't know how much you'll understand, but there's no fault line or hypercenter. But there is an epicenter around here. They're primary waves only, no secondary waves at all, so they're not tectonic or volcanic. It's something we've never seen before. Pure seismic energy. I see. Very clear. Thank you. Will you ask Miss Preedy to join us? So, why all this about the earthquakes? You must have seen the news. You must know what's going on. Treadway. What? The man in the plane. Yes. He's a seismologist. I remember now where I've heard that name before. He's written papers for the British Geological Survey. Treadway was a leader in his field. That's why I sent for him. I don't have time to replace him with someone from the UK. But you're here, you're Johnny on the spot. I don't understand. I know what's causing the quakes. I just don't know how to stop them. 
But you might be able to help. What is this? Some kind of... Stay here. Come with me, Dolby. Come on, follow him. Shut down main power. Then kill everything. Barker? Can you hear me, Barker? What's going on? The test units are run away. There's no sequence scheduled for today. The housing design team are running a mountings check when it started to feed back. Are you okay? Well, it's not me you need to worry about. Barker and Tilly are still in there. Well, power it down. We can't. They rooted power into the forward control booth. I can't cut it from here. It feels like the mountings are beginning to break. Oh, What's going on? Get out of here. Someone's got to go in there. It could be suicide. But this isn't. Colonel, we've got to kill the power to the whole base. No, it could lose God knows what data in the mainframe. We'll save the data or lose the base. What's making that noise? Come on, you're in. Everyone all right? Yeah. Yeah. My ears are ringing like a brass band. Are you okay? Yeah. How's Barker and Tilly? You're kidding, right? Mm? Are they dead? Dead? They're coating the walls. Oh. oh, someone, please, what is going on here? Who are you people? I'd hope to give you a better introduction to our work. But like I said, we need your help. With what? With perhaps the most important project in the history of mankind. So are you with us? In part one of The Voice of God by Simon Bovey, Sam was played by Claire Corbett, Joshua by Matthew Diktinsky, Nick, David Thorpe, Walker, Jeffrey Beavers, Belinda, Beth Chalmers and McCartney by Gerard McDermott. The soldiers were John Cummins, Delroy Brown and Nick Sace. The Voice of God was directed by Mark Beebe. Oh, oh.